Um, up next, we have Downtown Deli, where they're going to be preparing two of their famous Rubens. Downtown Deli with Chef Ryan, who's going to be preparing us two really awesome types of Rubens. And we're going to talk a little bit about some fresh mozzarella and even some pickles. So, Ryan, tell me a little bit about this traditional Reuben that you're making. All right, it's one of our most popular sandwiches. Um, we use uh, corned beef brisket, boar's head corned beef brisket. Okay. We slice it really, really thin. Um, brisket has a good bit of fat and marbling in it, so you want to slice it thin, otherwise, it's going to get really chewy on you. Um, we grill some rye bread. Okay. Nice, nice seeded Jewish rye bread with uh, some Swiss cheese, and uh, we put a little Thousand Island on there. Okay. White Thousand Island, a little ketchup, a little mayo, some relish. Yum. Yeah. Um, some good old sauerkraut. Boris had sauerkraut. We'll warm this up on our flat top. This is a hot sandwich. Okay. Um, we get it nice and hot. Warm what, that up. What makes this New York style? Corn beef is popular. Corn beef and pastrami is really popular in New York. Um, we use um, a third of a pound of corned beef, so it's a really thick, thick big beef. sandwich. Okay. Yep. A lot of sauerkraut, good, good rye bread, and uh, again, a lots of lots of uh, corned beef. Just how they do it in New York. Shaved as thin as we can get it, and we pile that up there. That looks get awesome. Get that, and uh, we make our own pickles in house. Okay. So if you make your own pickles in house, do you sell your own pickles? We sell the pickles. Yep, we get them. Uh, we get them in the jar here. Um, nice, nice jar of them, and uh, they're a little sweet. They have a little vinegar in them, so then they got a little spice at the end. So it's a little different pickle than uh, you typically see. Um, a lot of them are sweet, or a lot of them are just all vinegar. Okay. It's kind of a combination of both. Gotta give you a little sweet and tangy. Finish Can off I at the end. Try one. Yeah, get in there. All right. Absolutely. Sounds good. Yeah. Not your pickle. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> little sweet, little little tangy. Well, that's super good. Yeah, okay. so Reuben is one of our popular, and uh, so that was so popular, we decided to create another one. Okay. And this is called a turkey Reuben. Again, good rye, seeded rye bread, grilled Swiss cheese. All right. Then we put uh, another third of a pound of uh, oven gold sliced turkey breast, good and thin. Pile that on there, and then uh, take our homemade coleslaw. What's Which, in your homemade coleslaw? It's got shredded uh, white cabbage or purple cabbage. Okay. Some shredded carrots. And then we make our own dressing, which is a combination of sugar, vinegar, some poppy seeds, some celery salt, mm. and uh, some vinegar. We mix that all together. And uh, we never mix it beforehand. We always mix it as soon as you order it. So the coleslaw, you get a really good crunch nice. along with the sweetness. Too and many times you go to a place and the coleslaw is just soggy and it's like, ah. Right. So we really mix it literally right to order. Sometimes it throws some people off when they see the coleslaw in there and the case and like, where's the dressing? We put the dressing on as soon as you order it so it's good and crunchy. Okay. People appreciate that at the end. We just pile that coleslaw in there. Top that off with another thick, uh, that thick looks slice of rye. So good. Pretty, and uh, again, everybody gets some pickles. So if you're not sure if you like them when you see them in the counter in the jar, you oh. get them on every, All you gotta do is order a sandwich, and uh, you'll get to try the pickles. So then if you like them, you can get a jar. Oh. Yeah. Well, you'll them. definitely like them. Absolutely. They're good. <laughs> so is this considered? Which one do you think is kind of like the, the your famous Reuben? You, you know, say? everyone has a New York Reuben, and they're very popular. Okay. Um, so that's kind of a staple, you know. Right. We try to keep that, you know, consistent. But this is much, much different. People aren't used to seeing this. Um, and again, we make our coleslaw in house with that crunch and that sweetness, along with the warm turkey. Okay. It's just a really good combination. And I got people coming in the restaurant and saying like they've been craving it. Or you know, <laughs> we close for the Fourth of July for a week, and like on Monday and Tuesday, there people are like. They couldn't live without the weekend. It's <laughs> like they just absolutely crave it, and it just—it's crazy how why we created it. But um, again, the sweetness of the coleslaw and that warm turkey and the rye is just like a perfect combination. People love it. Looks it's good crazy. to me. Yeah. So sometimes this is a good seller today, and that will be the seller tomorrow. It's, they kind of even themselves out. They're oh. both extremely popular. Absolutely. I need to 
I need to stop by. <laughs> yeah, come and see me. So tell me about this mozzarella. All right, so, um, it's summertime, people are eating less, right. lighter, you know, not a lot of he hot, heavier sandwiches. So we've, um, I learned uh, from an Italian chef a few years ago how to make fresh mozzarella. And um, we're making it in the restaurant now for a, for a summer special. We'll keep, keep making it in the fall, but okay. it's really focused in the summer. We get uh, really good, fresh local tomatoes, use good, uh, fresh basil, you can smell it, yeah. and uh, fresh mozz. And, um, you get this on a plate like this at the restaurant, okay. or you can get it um, on a sandwich, and we just drizzle it with a little um, extra virgin olive oil. And so are you, um, are you supplying this first to, yes, to purchase, a local, potentially? Yes, yeah, there's okay. a local, local, local shop in Bluffton by okay. the post office called the Pasta Shop. Okay. Um, Connie's, Connie runs it, and she's selling that in there. So you can go in there and buy a, a, a ball of it, and uh, take it home and eat it with a couple tomatoes and that sort of thing. I do not sell it retail in the restaurant. They okay. are, they're my retail supplier. I just sell it as an entree, you know, sandwich or on a plate. Oh, no, that's fabulous. Yeah, so you can come on in and get a little matz, a little olive oil, a little balsamic reduction. And I like a little piece of taste, bread. so yes, I'm just going to help myself. Yeah, it's really good. Dig a lot of there. times you get in the store and it's real bland. Right. There's not enough salt. Um, so this is just... It's got that saltiness, it's got mm. the creaminess, That's the texture really is really, good. yeah, really smooth. Um, people just love it. And uh, I made it a few years ago for some family, just kind of played around with it after he taught me how to make it, and now we're just really making it and pushing out the door. Yeah, it's really good. awesome. Yeah, it goes good with some bread or some crackers. Uh, if you got some prosciutto, you can slice some prosciutto. So, it's really, really good. That is fabulous. So, yep. where are you located in, in Bluffton? Downtown Bluffton. Uh, it's called Malachamp Drive. It's off of 46. Um, by Habitat for Humanity and Palmetto State Bank. We're in a little plaza there. There's Me Tierra's, the Bluffton Seafood House. We're in a little strip right there, across the street from the promenade. We're open Monday through Friday from 10 to 3. Okay. Um, focusing more on lunch, business crowd, a lot of locals. Um, been there for nine years, going into our ninth year. Wow. Yep, just really good, fresh, consistent food. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming, letting us come over. This has been great. Um, Thank you so much. Have a great day. No problem. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Thank you as well. You. Up next, we have Gary with Breakwater, who's going to bring us a platter of all sorts of samples.